Hey guys, today I'll be taking a look at a tactical flashlight, the Olight Odin. This was sent to me by Olight Store, who are an Australian distributor for Olight. I'll have a link to them in the video description, as well as a 10% discount code they gave me for you guys to use, which is just my name, Brad. The Olight Odin is designed for real steel firearms, but today I'll be talking about it in the context of projectile sports, such as what we have here in Australia with gel ball blasters. The Odin attaches to your blaster very easily. First, attach the Odin mount to any Picatinny rail on your blaster. It clamps down with two bolts and comes with an Allen key for that purpose. Once the mount is attached, simply slot the Odin into the channel on the mount. It clicks into place and won't pull back off unless you press in the button on the side. To avoid accidentally releasing it, you can turn the button to the locked position. And now pressing it does nothing and the Odin is nice and secure. If you don't want to mount it on the top, for instance if it's getting in the way of your optics, there's a second position on the side of the mount which works exactly the same. Click it in and rotate the button again to lock it down. The mount is also available separately, so if you wanted to swap the Odin between different blasters, you can make that super easy for yourself by putting a mount on each one. The Odin has two brightness levels and two ways to operate it. If you quick press the button very lightly, it'll turn on at 300 lumens and stay on until you press the button again. If you quick press the button harder, you'll hear a click and it will turn on at 2000 lumens and stay on. Alternatively, if you press the button and hold it in, the light will stay on until the moment you let go. And that works with both the light press 300 lumens or the harder press 2000 lumens. The faraway trees here are about 200 meters away and I can see them very clearly. Olight write on the box that it can reach up to 300 meters total. And yeah, that's probably accurate judging from this. The Odin also comes with a remote switch, which simply friction fits onto your Picatinny rail. Press down hard on it to snap it into place. The connection between the remote switch and the Odin is magnetic, and that alone would be enough to secure it, but it also has a locking mechanism, which you can engage by pushing on the outer ring of the connector. And to detach it, simply pull on the outer ring to unlock it again. Now, when using the remote switch, you only get the 2000 lumen output, no matter how hard or soft you press the button but you do retain the quick press to keep it switched on or press and hold to have it turn off when you release it again. Similar to the remote switch, the Odin's charger uses a magnetic connection. The other end of the charging cable terminates in USB, so if you needed to recharge it out in the field, you could easily use a portable battery pack like the ones used for your phone for instance. The battery life is really good though, you can get about 8 hours out of it. When you're not using your blaster, could you use it for everyday carry? Well, it's the same length as what I currently have in my pocket every day. Unfortunately though, it lacks a pocket clip and they don't make one for it. But you could potentially DIY something for it. It's a pity because it's twice as bright as what I currently have. Olight do have other models of flashlights designed specifically for EDC though, such as a 2250 lumen Warrior X Pro, which I'll probably pick one of those up after seeing how the Odin performs. The best part of having multiple Olights though is they all share that same magnetic charger. Now, I can't review this without actually using it. So last night I headed out to a gel ball skirmish called the Battle for Waterloo Friday Fight Night. Most gel ball fields, including this one, have a rule against white light. So I threw on a red filter. This was not made by Olight and they don't currently make a filter for it. And this was too big for it, so I adapted it using some wraps of electrical tape. Hopefully Olight can come out with some filters themselves actually designed for the Odin because this one cut the light output dramatically. But regardless, it was definitely enough power to see the enemy players and see where the gel balls went, without even using a tracer unit. The only downside to using a flashlight, specifically for video recording, is when you want to stay stealthy, the camera will go completely black. If I planned to go out to more night games, I'd probably invest in a special type of camera and an IR illuminator to keep running the entire match. If you're not into recording gameplay though, this is definitely all you really need. <laughs> now there's a couple of other claims Olight make that I want to test out. First of all, they claim it's drop proof to one and a half meters. So I'm going to throw it around a bit straight onto concrete and see how that claim holds up. It's still working absolutely fine. There's some small scratches on the anodized aluminium body, but the glass is in perfect shape and the button still works fine. The other claim Olight make is it's IPX8 waterproof. So first I'll just run it under some water.
Yeah, it seems to be working fine still. So now I'll submerge it actually in some water and leave it for a few minutes. Looks like it's still working normally. Let's take it out, give it a shake off, and now I'll give you my final thoughts. The Olight Odin is one super durable, super bright, and highly versatile flashlight. There's plenty of ways to use it and mount it, and for use in the context of gel ball, with a red filter to meet field restrictions, it worked great for me. It would be nice if Olight made their own filters for it, and maybe even a pocket clip for it since it's so easy to mount and dismount from your blaster, that why not EDC it and have one flashlight for everything? Regardless, if you're looking for something to put on your blaster that'll far outlive your blaster, look no further than the Olight Odin. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and all of that. And I'll see you next time.